Hey Franklin, how you doing? Um, I'm about to make the test for you so I can show you what's going on. Um, right now I have the house loading um, 260 watts. I'm going to turn the house off. Except, turn the house, turn on the planer, and see how the system reacts with solar and battery turning on the planer. It's a 3 horsepower motor. That pulls about 7.2 kilowatts, I think, when it's starting up. Yep. System fault. It's not working. Now, when this happens, I not only have to turn the, the, the inverter off, but I also have to turn off my PV array so the inverter can turn off and reboot itself. Um, I have no idea how to, to, to make the fault go away if I don't turn off everything, turn off both the inverter and my PV array. Um, I've turned off the PV array and it's still showing that it's um, charging up my batteries, which I'm sure it's not happening, but it's taking a sweet time to do so. So now I have um, 3.9 kilowatts being pulled on the inverter on my solar panels directly. I'm going to turn on the generator and bypass everything, wait 10 seconds and turn off the generator again. Alright, so now the generator is on, bypassing the inverter, powering my loads. See now, I turned off the generator and the system is trying to to power up the three kilowatts from the from the AC system, and it's not able to do so. I get a fault, 0 0.7, which is an overload fault, and now the system recovers. Now that the system recovers, it's able to power up at least it should be able to power up the AC on in my room right now. Now I'm going to try one more thing. I have the solar panels powering the house, powering the 3.9 kilowatts. I'm going to turn off the PV and see what happens. The PV has been turned off. I'm going to wait for the system to react and see if the batteries are going to be able to support the charge. Notice the sound that it's making. All right, it's holding the charge. I'm going to do the same generator test with the PV off and see what happens. Notice that um, the charging light is still blinking even though the PV is off, the PV array is off. I'm going to turn on the generator, bypass the inverter, wait for 10 seconds and then turn off the generator. System fault, 07.
and now the system recovers. It was able to hold 9.6 kilowatts on the batteries. I wanted to do the same test with the PV off and I'm going to try to um, turn on the motor in the back and see what happens just on batteries without the solar panel. All right, so now I'm back. Um, generator's off. The house is pulling 240 volts. The solar system is off. I'm gonna turn off the house, leave the, the shop breaker on, and try to turn on the, the planer, which has a three HP motor, and see what it does solely on batteries. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna turn off the house, leave the breaker for the shop on, turn on the big planer solely on battery power and see how the system reacts to that. Zero load for the house. We're gonna turn on the motor. Nothing. The big motor doesn't turn on. Gives a fault, 07, and then a 51 error. And I think the system is going to try to recover. I think when that happens, the system never recovers. When I get a big fault like that, I'm gonna have to turn off everything. The PV's off. I have to turn off the inverter, wait till it shuts off itself, and then turn it back on. Um, it never recovers on its own.